hello friends hope you are doing well so today we will see how to integrate with active directory and enable sso so in comworld hope you are aware hope you have seen my previous videos where we we can do some advanced features in comworld so today we will focus on the integration of active directory As you are aware, we can integrate Active Directory with Commvault, and we can enable SSO single sign-on with the console console. So let me go to the console console first. So as of now, I have not enabled SSO, so it will ask, it will prompt for to enter the username and password. Right. So once we enter uh, using the admin credentials. We will come on this page. That's a getting started, right? So what we will do first, we have to integrate with the domain. So before going for this uh, integration with the domain, I will have to explain how it will work, right? So if any uh, any domain user will have access on this particular server, that's a, like on a physical server or VM which we have created. So not all user will get access on this particular console. So only those users who is whom we will create on this console uh, console will get the rights to get access. I will show you how. So first we will integrate with the domain. I am going with my I am integrating my active directory. Here I need to give NetBIOS name and then domain name here we need to give the domain administrator credentials So done. Now here itself we can enable the SSO. So when we once we enable the SSO, automatic when we open the console console, automatic it will attempt for the SSO. And the user who has logged in on the Windows is having the right to access the console console. He will get the logged in. Otherwise, the login will get failed. Just enable SSO and press OK. Here we have got the users, right? So here I have not created any user, right? As of now, what I will do is I will close this console, I will reopen it. As you can see, now it is going for the it is not asking it is, it is going for the attempting SSO right login has done because we have not created any such user demo slash administrator no any such user on the console console so what we will do is we will again login with the admin credentials and now we will enable the particular user. We will create that user and we will give the rights to particular user on the console console. Okay, so we have landed up on the particular page users. Now what we will do? Just create a new user here. 
we can browse it will show all the users who were created who were present in particular domain right i will create this particular user demo administrator i will enable this okay and i can give a right to this particular user what right to click at so as of now there is no members so we i can give the master i can include this particular user in a master group itself or we can create a new user new user group and we can give a customize uh, permissions and rights rights and permission for this particular user right so as of now i'll go with this program master and i can click okay so now i've created this particular user right in console users also you can see this particular user has been created now i will close this console console again and i will reopen again it will attempt for the access as so and it will get succeed now you can see it is attempting for the so i am not entering any password the user is logged in that's it so what we have done is we have integrated with our domain and we have enabled the ssh for this now you can see the green symbol that means i have logged in using this particular user the similar way you can create multiple users you can have uh, the users who are having in console console or uh, who are in the uh, active directory those users you can enable here so you can create multiple users in the admin console and you can enable them you can do a rights and permission to them and then you can enable it for the ssl so it is always suggested it is always recommended to create multiple users for uh, for all of the users who are there in your id team, who are managing your backup infra right so that you can have a audit trip for a particular users hope you have liked my video please like and subscribe the channel for the latest updates